Hey folks, Matt from RightOfTheImage.com. Panasonic GFA H5S. GH5S. Lack of IBIS. This is the one of the biggest things. I was going to say the single thing, but one of the biggest things that I'm hearing from you guys and that I'm seeing online as a complaint is the lack of IBIS. When I look to see what Panasonic has to say about this, uh, it seems vague. It seems that uh, I've heard a Panasonic... PR guy saying that he didn't know the full technical specs, but that it performed better without IBIS. I've heard other people saying that because of the multi-aspect sensor, that it doesn't work with IBIS. I've heard it said that because of the, um, I, th I believe it does, what, 240 frames per second or something, that at certain frame rates or whatever, IBIS wouldn't work. Um, and I have yet to hear anything that really nails it for me on why we couldn't have had IBIS in this camera. For instance, anything I've heard so far, my number one response that popped into my head immediately was, why didn't you put IBIS in and have either the camera turn it off automatically in situations where it couldn't be used, or have it, or I should say, and or have it as a manual turn off. Be able to go into the menu or have a, a switch designated. You can even put a custom function button to it and just switch the IBIS off for situations where it wasn't going to work or it was going to cause problems. Again, it could have been something where the camera's programmed to just shut it off automatically in any of the situations Panasonic thinks it would not be helpful or would cause a problem. I don't know why they haven't done that. If any of you know why that wasn't done, if any of you are from Panasonic and want to chime in, um, I haven't had a chance to speak to my specific rep at the moment because uh, I believe she's out traveling forget where she is at the moment. She's a very lucky uh, lady because she's all over the world regularly with Panasonic cameras, and it's great to see her fantastic photography and shots. Don't get me wrong here. The GH5S, I think it's a phenomenal camera. I'm just curious about this lack of IBIS. I, I haven't heard an explanation that satisfies me on why it was removed. And again, my easy answer, and I think other people have said this too, is why would you not just make it something that either the camera shuts off automatically in situations where it can't be used or that you can shut it off yourself or make it both? Have it so you can turn it on and off. I mean, most cameras do. You are able to go in and either modify the various settings for image stabilization for IBIS or you can turn it off. It seems simple to me. I don't understand. I guess two things. I don't understand why it really was a, a, a omitted because I don't hear anything that sounds like it, it, it doesn't make, hasn't made sense to me yet on why it wasn't put in. But then again, the, my, my immediate uh, reaction has been, like I said, why didn't you just have the camera shut it off? What do you guys think? Is there something uh, someone out there, one of you guys knows that I, I haven't touched on here that is a, is a valid answer? Is there um, more information? Is there a question you have? What do you think about the lack of IBIS? Is it enough to not make you interested in this camera? Um, let's discuss it. Comments below. Interested to hear what you guys have to say. No IBIS on the GH5S. Is it a deal killer for you? Are you as puzzled as I am? Have, do you have the answer? Let me know. Let's talk about it. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.